What is up, and owners? And full said here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today, we're going to be doing this catch can. So let's go see what we got. All right. We got everything laid out here. Uh, I'll, I'll just go over a little bit of what we have here. We got our hoses for our inlet, outlet. We got the mounting bracket. And uh, I got to tell you, some people on Facebook were talking about ordering the direct fit from Ad W1 um, specifically for our car so it's it's supposed to be a direct fit they got a mounting bracket that doesn't fit our car so uh, I would like to show you how to modify it um, though I don't have that bracket so if you do have the bracket that doesn't fit our car this is what it's going to look like okay and this is going to go on the coolant reservoir that's going to bolt down right where uh, the coolant reservoir is bolted to as well for the direct fit from Add W1. And here's our catch can. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. Right here's your outlet, your inlet. It does have a dipstick so you can check to see how full this thing is. They even sent me a sticker. I was thinking about putting that on the car somewhere. I'm not sure where. Here we got our clamps. Now they do have the option to... It's a clamp that holds both the hoses here together right here. Um, it's like you can get red, blue, or some other colors. It's You have to spend money for it. I didn't. I mean, this. I'm cheap. So, you know, I'm going to go the cheap way. Um, and... Here's your import or inlet adapter, your outport adapter. What's cool is they give you uh, gaskets for these. They're, they're actually um, rub, made of rubber, and you know you put them on there, so you don't need to put the Teflon tape on the threads here. Uh, they give me two mounting bolts, which is weird because I only have one hole for a bracket. So. What I was thinking is, I'll put this one there, and then this one, where my coolant reservoir is, I'm just going to put this in place of the bolt that's there, so they match. Go ahead and put our hoses on. This is a smaller one of the two, I'll show you that. This is a 9mm. I'm going to put this one to our little guy. If you put this on that big guy, you're doing something wrong, man. Just stop. Stop working on cars. Alright, she's on. Okay, the bracket, the mount bracket, is going to attach to here. This is your coolant reservoir. And right down here where my finger is pointing, that's the bolt you're going to take out for your bracket. When I put my bracket in, I'm not going to tighten it down because it will swivel a little bit. And I want to make sure that I have it in the right angle for my hoses to run. And I got my bracket. And I got my bolt. And this is the Allen key. I've got this set up right here. So we're going to go ahead and position the bracket. And it's going to sit in so that your your mounting for your catch can is going to go to the right of, well, facing the car is going to go to the right of the car. So let's put this guy on. I'm going to go over and grab my catch can and uh, mount it to here and we'll find out which way the, the hoses are. I'm going to aim, but I guess before I go over, let's uh, go ahead and take cover off. This is just quick, just pull it up. Got these uh, little rubber gaskets um, to go on the uh, studs here. Just a quick pull, it will come right off. And I got my catch can, and I'm going to try to position it to where where I think I want the catch can to mount. I got it off these two locations. 
Now I'm going to put it on my mounting bracket. And again, be very careful with these little Allen key bolts. You don't want to drop them down in here, man. That sucked so bad. Can't express that enough. This is where I want it to be positioned. And uh, again, as you can see, we can move we can move this a little bit just to get the uh, angle. Um, like in this angle right here, because the hoses are going here. Now, earlier I told you we're going to have to crisscross these. And we're definitely going to have to do that. Uh, my hoses are pretty long. Um, so the inlet is actually going to go here. And then my outlet's going to go down here. So they're going to have to go over each other. And it's a long hose. So I'm thinking we're going to have to cut these so it fits a little better. Which is cool. I mean, hey rather have enough than not enough because we can always cut it back but we can't just add it on well you could uh, if you went to the hardware store or not the hardware store but the uh, auto zone or advanced auto or something like that so uh, let me grab my other allen wrench and get this bracket tightened down and I'll be right with you got it alright let's tighten this guy down Next thing you're going to want to do is locate your PCV. It's right here. This is a clip. Take some uh, pliers, squeeze these together, pull it down, pull the holes off. And then this runs right down here. If you can see. Let's see if we can get a better angle. There you go. There's the other clamp right there. That goes straight down. That's where your outlet this side is going to hook to this is your inlet so inlet see what I'm talking about here it's away from it so I don't, I'm not sure why why didn't they just swap it but anywho I mean we're just gonna to have to cross the hoses Ain't no big deal see how the uh, cover fits afterwards um, and I did go ahead and replace the other mount for the coolant overfull or uh, reservoir, sorry. Looks, I mean, I had it. Why not? So now they're matching. Boom. Thanks, Ad W1. Um, so I'm gonna go get my pliers, and we'll get back to it and get this off. Got my 45 degree needle nose. These are my go-to for these kinds of clamps. I like them. They work for me. What we're going to do is just squeeze these. Move this back. Now the one down here, that's going to be a little more, a little more tricky. That's why I got these guys. We're going to go on the back side here. And I may have to go ahead and with, with a straight Yeah, I mean, I need, uh, well, maybe not. Let's see. Yep, that guy is going to be a little harder, so let me grab my, my other pliers. The 45 doesn't work back there. You're just going to need straight pliers, needle nose for that. I'll be right back. Got him. Now let's get this other clamp off. Yeah, this guy's going to be difficult.
There's always something that's difficult, right? When working on cars, sometimes you think it's going to be really easy, but it's, it's not. And the way they position this, well, it sucks. They really, uh, really didn't do it for the user. Bear with me. Get my flashlight. So right now I'm trying to spin it um, so that I can get it, the crisscross clamp uh, positioned to where I can get a hold of it. Because um, right now when I'm trying to get onto it, what I'm actually doing is pinching this hose and I don't want to do that. Design this. We ever put this clamp on? He's not a good friend of mine right now. <laughs> it's back there, and now I'll show you what's going on and why it's so stupid. So this is protruding out, right? This is right here. Right there's a clamp. Right there. So it's kind of hard to get the needle nose down inside here right because you got this little bump out right here and it's pushing it against this hose as you can see it's pinching a little bit and I don't want to ruin that so I'm gonna I'm gonna fend dangle that here pretty I'm gonna take you off and um, I'm gonna try to figure this out before I damage this because I do not want to do that and I'll let you know how I did it Okay, so I did get that clamp moved over to where it should be, and uh, now I can get my 45s on there and uh, pull that thing off. So let's get in there and do that real quick. There we go, we got her up. All right, put this camera back on my stand. Okay, now, we're just gonna disconnect this hose and just pull it from the adapter here. That popped out. I'm gonna pull it from down here. This one, my guess, is gonna be pretty tough to get off. It is bigger, but... There we go. It wasn't that bad. So here it is. You're gonna to want to save this guy. So now we got this off. Let's uh, go ahead and figure out. Okay, so your your big dude is gonna go down to the big port. That's your outlet. Outlet. You take me up, old little guy. Right here, PBC, PCV. So that's gonna go on like that. We'll get our clamps, put them on here, wrap this. You know what? Actually, let me measure. I don't like all this access because if, if we hook this up right now, that's what it's going to look like. That's a lot of access. So 
I might have to cut these. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut them. I don't want to route it any other way, I mean. This guy, go with this. Yeah, let's do that. Let me go grab my cutters. Got my cutters. Now, let's see about routing this inlet. I can already see a problem with this hose. Here's your uh, oil dipstick. We're going to want it on this side of it, right? But right here, this is where your cover mounts to. So your cover, that little rubber gasket's on the bottom side of your your uh, cover sits in this. So, I think it's going to be a problem if I route it this way. The inlet port, the 9mm too. So what I'm thinking about doing is going this way, routing it underneath the wiring harness right here like that so this is definitely not gonna get in the way of this and going straight into there which I'm gonna cut it probably right here I think that's the best routing way for this guy yeah, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so let's, let's go ahead and measure it out and honestly, I'm just going to cut her with this razor blade. We'll mark it right here. Take her back out. Look at my mark. We'll just cut this guy. If you have uh, the proper tools to cut it, by all means, man, use that. I'm using razor blade. And it'll work. There we go. Perfect. Now let me go grab my clamp. Got my clamp. Put that on there. Actually, I'm going to route it first, then I'll put the clamp on. So I'm going around where the cover mounts to, and then underneath this wire harness, put my clamp on. Plug this guy in here. Just like that. Make sure you have your clamp perfectly set so you don't want it on the fat part of the nipple. You want to crush it. You just want it snug so it holds it and it goes flying off. So there we go. Alright, that one's on there. Now let's measure the out port. Get that one cut. So this one, I think I'm just gonna go right over top. Kind of, kind of guess how much I need. Uh, it's kind of hard to measure this guy, but like I said, you can always cut some off. You can never add some unless you go to your auto parts store and grab an adapter and some hose. So we'll start here because that looks like what it's gonna be. It's good. Also, if you're using a razor blade, please don't cut your, your thumb. That suck. There we go. This guy I'm just going to come straight down with. Yeah, that'll work. Sure will. Okay. Let me go grab my client real quick.
line up on there. sure you position this clamp down there so that you can get to the uh, bolt head so I'm gonna have to go over and grab a, an extension I can I can see that I'm gonna be able to get to it from this angle so let me go grab the uh, grab the extension let me get longer and if this doesn't work, we can always go with the old clamp, the clamp that's on this hose, this guy right here. That'll always work as well. Just remember to put it in a better position than wh whoever put that on the last time. So I'm going to have it angled, kind of angled off a little bit here. And if it doesn't work, you know, we can always swap it out with the other one there. Flashlight, make sure it's on there. Alright, she's looking good right there. Not in the way of anything. This one's perfectly cut. First time, can't believe it. Might take a little more off the inlet port here. Maybe not. Maybe that one needs to. See if we can get this clamp on. Just gonna test it, see if I can get it to it. Let it so I can tighten it, take it off. Actually, yep, that works out pretty good. Right there. Again, I'm going to see if... Oh yeah, i got plenty of room. Plenty of room with that, where the nipple is. So This one will go on there. Again, just make sure you, you positioned it to where you can get to it. And that works pretty good. And I'll show you. Take that off my stand because you can't see what was going on there but here's the inlet that's your PCV right down here that's your outlet outlet going to your manifold and as you can tell that uh, that clamp did work and the way I got to it <laughs> It was a, right through there. Boom. Look at that alignment. It's pretty good. Well, that, I mean, that's installed. So. Alright. I got it installed. I want to put my engine cover on. And, uh, just a minor problem. Not a big deal. I can modify some stuff. I like my hoses going tight and not all over the place like all the way down here and all that uh but well i'll grab my engine cover and show you what what the problem is so we'll mock this up i'll just put it on there lay it on there to where it should go the problem is this outlet tube which is going to your manifold. And this is a 15 millimeter. The way I routed it is not going to clear this. But what I'm going to do, well, because I, I, I don't care really, I'm just going to cut a notch up in here so it lays down in. It'll 
clear the hose, and I'm good to go. But if you don't have the capabilities of doing that, and you you know you order one of these, um, and you just want to install it without cutting anything, and you know maybe maybe you're like, oh, I don't want to deface the value of the car. I mean, it's just an engine cover. It's plastic. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut that out. It'll set down. It'll look clean. You ain't even going to notice it. And I don't have a bunch of hoses over here. Uh, but if you do order this and you put it in, uh, go ahead and just, you know, route it this way up under here you're gonna have enough room and again I, I like clean I like to just have my hoses just all tucked and nice um, maybe I'll even just you know keep the engine cover off and mount this on my wall I means pretty good wall art it's sexy <laughs> but um, yeah, so I did find another thing that's that's wrong with their diagrams. Uh, and uh, again, you know, this is a new car. I know manufacturers are just coming up with this stuff, so you know, there's there's bugs and there's catches and stuff. But uh, what I noticed, and and I just opened up these uh, diagrams. Um, maybe I should have opened them up earlier, <laughs> so I didn't, I mean, to me, this, this is, this is how I want to route it, anyway, um, but, what I did find on their diagram, is they're conflicting, um, so, on their how-to diagram, how to install this, right? Um, and it is the 2019 up uh, Veloster N, uh, patent pending. I mean, they, they have a little bit to work on, maybe, uh, especially with their diagrams. So down here, you can see the inlet, right, is, you know, on the right-hand side. Looking at the catch can, at the holes, right, their inlet, right there, inlet, is on the right hand side their outlet is on the left hand side well no that's that's not entirely true uh, their inlet is on the left side and their outlet is on the right side so their outlet right here is running into your manifold down here the inlet is coming from PCV. No. That's not what they're saying here. But then you go to their other diagram, and they're saying on the right side is their outlet. On the left side is their inlet. No, it's not. But, honestly, no big deal. I'll take care of it. I took care of it, Harry. <laughs> That's the uh, movie reference, Dumb and Dumber. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just going to modify the, the cover and we'll get her done. I'll just full send it and full send it. Alright, guys. I'm in full send and... Uh, Drive safe, and you know, I'll, maybe I'll reach out to Add W1, let them know they have uh, a diagram issue uh, for their install. Um, but you know, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. All right, guys, hey, you drive safe.